Hi guys, how are you today? Today I want to speak to talk about ventriloquial alphabet. Please excuse my, you know, strange accent and pronunciation. I am Polish. I underline it. You know, I have learned ventriloquism in Polish language, which is probably the second most difficult language in the world, okay? So please excuse me. I am not English. I am Polish, okay? So I can make mistakes and have a funny accent. I want to talk about ventriloquial alphabet. What is it? Maybe let's start with another question. What is ventriloquism at all? What I believe, ventriloquism is an art, comedy art, based on ability to talk without moving your lips, to talk, sing, or make other funny things without moving your lips. It's a comedy art, performing art. So, talking without moving your lips is not everything. Okay? If you learn this, that's absolutely perfect. It's your first, most important step, but it will not make you a great performer. To be a performer, you need to put a little bit, bit more energy into that. You need creativity, you need to develop your sense of humor, and of course you can do that. It's much easier when you practice ventriloquism, and it will be easier if you practice with me. Okay, let's come back to this alphabet I told you. In any language, there are sounds you can pronounce without moving your lips. It's absolutely possible. There are plenty of sounds in any available language in the world, okay? Sounds you can produce without moving your jaw, without moving your lips. Of course, it might be a little bit difficult at the beginning. It might be, but with some practice, with exercises, and especially with exercises I will give you, you will be able to talk without moving your lips. Of course, in any language, there are sounds which are exceptions, okay? There are sounds, normally, when you speak, you have to use your lips to produce them. For example, P, like propeller, you have to use your lips. B, like Barnaba, Borneo, you have to use your lips normally, in normal speech, okay? F, like flower, V, V, like victory, victor, victory, W, which is quite difficult, although it's, I wouldn't say it's a consonant, okay, it's, um, but it is a little bit difficult, W, water, water, you have to move your lips, and M, like mother, mother, you have to use your lips when you talk normally. Those sounds have to be replaced somehow, and there are many tricks how to do that. There are many ways how to do that. They require some practice, and they will require some patience and exercise. Those sounds can be replaced, and I will show you step by step how to do that, okay? But first, let's start with things, with those sounds, which are absolutely easy. For example, just a funny example, funny exercise for today. Such a kind of rhythmic exercise like taka, 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 taka. Can you say that right now? Ta, ka, ta, ka, ta, ka. Okay, you say that normally. Now try to say the same without moving your lips. Taka, 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 taka. Taka, 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 taka. You can do that. Okay, but it's only a beginning, okay? The point is to make this exercise a little bit more challenging, a little bit more fun, a little bit more rhythmic. You can simply make a kind of groove, a kind of uh, music out of that, okay? For example, Easy? If you feel that your jaw is moving a little bit, you can always use this kind of popsicle stick I told you before, you know, with those two holes, which will help you to breathe. Put it in your mouth and start again.
Of course, the sound is not so clear because it's a little bit blocking the sound, but try to make it as perfect as possible and especially focus your energy on your tongue and throat because those parts have to work, you know, taka 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 taka, those parts have to work. But your jaw doesn't have to work at all. Your lips does, do not have to work at all. Try it as many times as possible. Let's make it a little bit more fun. Try to practice that for a few days and every day try to make it a little bit faster but clear, clear and clean, a little bit faster. So, for example, in one week when we meet somehow, you can show me that you can do that like, let's say this one. And don't worry if you make mistakes. Have fun. Bye-bye.